Today, we take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 121 in the line, Cobra Night Creeper. How you guys doing? This is G.I. Reviews. You see what we got going on? We got the Night Creeper looking pretty good. I, uh, just in packaging, I'm, I'm quite impressed with what I'm seeing there. Uh, not too up on uh, this guy in terms of lore. Uh, I'm sure he was in the uh, in the comics. Uh, anywhere else, I couldn't really tell you. I did a little reading up on this uh, particular character. It's not really a character per se. You can army build these if you so desired. Uh, they are a group that uh, that has been hired by Cobra on occasion to take out to carry out certain covert missions. Um, as you can see, just looking at them, uh, you can see the uh, the kind of ninja aesthetic there. You see uh, the weapons, uh, other accessories in that packaging, we, which we will see momentarily. But looking at the rest of the uh, the packaging, we've got some nice uh, digital artwork there on the back, looking real nice. And if I'm not mistaken, there are other other night creepers uh, behind him. I think that's what that is. Could be uh, shoot with that uh, with with that uh, faceless uh, plate there. That could be the Cobra Commander himself. And then you see what's going on with the uh, thumbnails. There's some artwork right there with a, a night creeper style shuriken throne. I I believe that's what's going on there. And then we are here back to the front. Here's the night creeper out of the packaging, still in the clamshell. We can get a better look at those accessories. There's uh, a pair of uh, very gnarly looking swords there. He's got a crossbow, backpack, another helmet, and uh, a dual set of some very vicious looking knives and a uh, an additional set of hands. And now we've got Creeper out of his clamshell and uh, you can see uh, fully what uh, we got going on here. It's a uh, mostly, I mean there's a lot of uh, shall we say purple in uh, in this color scheme and uh, purplish related colors like his uh, shoulder pads, the boots, the gloves, they're all of a certain color, red, a reddish it's not really purple, but it's not really red. You know what I'm saying? And of course, the tunic underneath, um, underneath his uh, his vest there, he's got, uh, which would be, you know, pass for. I guess they would be technically camouflage trousers. They're gray, and they've got darker gray and purple striping going on there. So uh, pretty cool. He's got uh, black uh, belt molded black but we've got some paint there uh, for the buckle and then of course there is the uh, the head sculpt which is a fully face mask covered and it's got the lenses uh, cyclopean type lenses they're uh, painted a uh, 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 grayish uh, silver uh, you know very dull silver the top of the dome though is a more shiny silver which you can see as we've gotten closer up total uh, straight up uh, metal dome piece the uh, the uh, scarf whatever you want to call this that's draped over his head is actually I don't believe it's it's separate but I don't believe it's removable pretty nice though um, like I said this uh, the whole design looks pretty cool we've got the uh, the uh, the chest pieces there for that uh, that vest molded in black painted in uh, like a, a dull silver once again pretty nice and then looking at the uh, the belt attachments I believe these are for the swords there are two uh, compartments there so it's probably for the swords and the knives which he has uh, a pair of as well. Then looking down, once again, you see that camel that I'm talking about. It's uh, there on the back, too, so that's cool. No skimping. Gotta love that for sure. As far as the articulation goes, 
His head is on a dumbbell. That combined with the uh, the back of this headpiece, you're not going to get just almost nothing going up. And then, the, you know, it's a dumbbell, so you're not going to get much going down either. Side to side, nothing much. You can turn his head, so you got that. His arms, you can nearly fully T-pose. That's because you're being impeded by the uh, shoulder pads. You can 360 it. You see the shoulder pads give with it. They're part of the arm uh, assembly. He does have butterfly joints, so he can rear back that far. And uh, the clasping, I don't believe you were going to get much in the way of that. And uh, no, we do not. He does have bicep swivel. He's got double jointed pinless elbows. His hands are swiveling wrists and both hands are uh, uh, vertically hinged. He's got a diaphragm uh, articulative joint there so you can go side to side, left to right and going front you're only going to get very minimal like that going back you get a little bit more he does have a ball joint at the uh, waist so you can get a little bit more to get him to go down so that's pretty cool not that much though uh, back a lot because of that uh, waist ball joint he can do the Van Dam splits he's got the drop downs with the legs, he can kick a little bit better than 90, go back that much. He's got the thigh cut, double jointed, pinless knees, as you can see there. He's got a boot swivel, cool with those kind of boots right there. He can point his toe forward. You can get more than that. This one is kind of tight, but he can point his toe forward and get it up. And you've got ankle pivot. You've got holes at the bottom of the feet, and uh, that is the articulation scheme. See if he'll still stand for me. For our Night Creeper, we're going to go ahead and equip our Night Creeper. See uh, how, uh, how much of uh, his accessories he can carry on his own person. We've got this green, gnarly looking sword. And uh, with the uh, equally gnarly looking kind of belt assembly here, we're going to see uh, if it fits. Does it? I don't think so. What about the other side? Nope, too, uh, too wide. But we do have these straps here. And uh, I guess that's how they fit there. And that would mean that... Uh, what's going on with this silver one. The silver one is a little bit more narrow than the uh, green one, so that may actually fit. But nope, not in that, not on that piece, and that means it won't fit there either. So that's what uh, those big loops are for. So you have that. It's gotta be for these knives, and uh, you see how gnarly they are. So, and they do look like they uh, are shaped to fit now that I'm turning them fully to the side so yeah the knives go in those uh those sheaths and they curve right along with them so that's how that works out as you can see get his knee straight and uh he's got this backpack as you can see there I'll place that on him and you can see the uh, the arrows uh, it would have been nice if they were painted different color but the uh, separate arrow that we get is also painted black so it really doesn't matter and uh, speaking of we have the crossbow and uh, I'm probably not going to be able to get this quickly on camera but we'll see it fit in pretty well. I have to see if I can get the trigger finger into the trigger guard. And I did. So that worked out pretty well. That worked out pretty well. And it only really took me a couple minutes, a little over a couple minutes, to get it done. 
let's talk about this other set of hands. They're not just another set of hands, they actually have functions. You see that the left hand has got a throwing star or shuriken, and uh, look at the right hand. It's got the, um, you don't want to get slapped with that, but I think it's mostly used for like climbing, but obviously uh, it uh, has uh, offensive purposes. And then, of course, we have the other head sculpt. We can look at that real quick. And uh, that looks pretty nice. Very, very nice there. For comparison, I've chosen Stalker, Sergeant Stalker, uh, the retro uh, version, and uh, Storm Shadow, number 35. Uh, I chose those two because, as I stated earlier, as I stated previously, I... Um, read up just a little on uh, the Night Creepers and um, from what I read the first uh, time um, out the Night Creepers or um, I may be getting this part mixed up if it was just one or if it was a group I believe it was just one uh, and uh, the Night Creeper had uh, basically attacked Sergeant Stalker and Storm Shadow I'm quite sure Storm Shadow had uh, basically uh, you know they were he was done with with cobra at that point even though this uh storm shadow has the uh, cobra logo um i'd have to look further to see if that is the truth if that's the case but uh yeah that's why i uh why i chose these two guys here's night creeper with those other hands and that other head sculpt and uh that's pretty cool because uh if you do decide to army build you can uh, change up uh you know the uh the figures to uh have different uh specialities i guess but um yeah there you have it right there so let me close this out by saying that number 121 gi joe classified series the night creeper <laughs> i just like saying it like that the night creeper it's a nice figure i uh I am I'm loving this figure. Uh maybe I um have got some more emotional investment in it because I am not uh the most fluid G.I. Joe aficionado. Um like I said earlier, see I try to be transparent. I did a little read up. That's how I knew about uh uh Night Creeper's uh tax on Storm Shadow and Sergeant Stalker from the little read-up that I've done and I know that there are um they're basically a a, a group of uh tech ninjas or whatever you want to call them and uh hired by Cobra to uh perform certain duties and functions like assassinations uh so for me I'm looking at this as this figure looks cool this figure looks dope and uh, that's what I, uh, I'm standing on that. It's got uh, crazy swords, decent amount of accessories, loving that. And uh, it's very nice and poseable. You can, get, uh, you can get them in some great poses. The extra set of hands, one of which I'm sporting right there, the, the uh, left hand, they're not just posed hands. They actually are functional hands. That left hand has got a, a throwing star in it. The other hand had the uh, palm claws in it. And uh, so that's pretty cool. As uh, well as the crossbow and um, like I said, those those uh, gnarly looking swords and that those knives equally as uh, equally as gnarly. The whole overall design of the character I think is top notch. And uh, I'm going to end it with that before uh, I come off like I'm um, just totally gushing. I'm just a fan. What can I tell you? And I know most of you are as well. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the Night Creeper. And uh, yeah, we're going to uh, be back with uh, some more GI Review uh, loveliness. And uh, yeah. I'm here for it. I hope you guys are too. Like, share, subscribe. Like I said, leave the comment below. Hit the notification bell. And uh, we will come back and do this again. Until that time, guys. Thanks for rocking with me. Peace.